is Anna Maria Chen from CorporateProfile.com reporting directly from Wall Street on CellSci Corporation, ticker CVM on the New York Stock Exchange. CellSci is dedicated to research and development directed at improving the treatment of cancer and other diseases by utilizing the immune system, the body's natural defense system. The company announced today that a second interim review of the safety data from its open label, randomized, controlled, pivotal phase three study of multi-kind investigational new drug immunotherapy was conducted by an independent data monitoring committee. The IDMC said the data raised no safety concerns and recommended that the phase three study continue unmodified. CellSci considers the results of the IDMC review to be important since studies have shown that up to 30% of phase three trials fail due to safety considerations. The IDMC's safety findings from this interim review were similar to those reported by investigators during CellSci's phase one, two trials. IDMC interim reviews are a standard part of clinical trial protocol. Following the first safety review by the IDMC for this study, which stated that there were no safety concerns, CellSci has doubled its efforts to expand the study to many more clinical sites in the U.S. and Europe in order to increase the accrual rate to the study. The Multicon Phase 3 study is enrolling patients with advanced primary, not yet treated, head and neck cancer on three continents around the world. The objective of the study is to demonstrate a statistically significant 10% improvement in overall survival of enrolled patients who are treated with multi-kind plus standard of care versus subjects who are treated with standard of care only. The universally accepted current standard of care for the patient population being enrolled in the cell size study is surgery plus radiation or surgery plus concurrent radiation and chemotherapy, dependent on the risk factors for recurrence found after surgery. Multikine treated patients receive 15 local injections of Multikine over a three-week period prior to standard of care treatment. Multikine injections are administered in the area around the tumor and in the area of the adjacent lymph nodes since those two areas are where the tumor is most likely to recur. Multikine is intended to create an anti-tumor immune response to reduce local regional tumor reoccurrence and thereby increase the survival of these patients. Multikine is the first immunotherapeutic agent being developed as a potential first-line treatment for advanced primary head and neck cancer. If it were to be approved for use following completion of their clinical development program, Multikine would become an additional and different kind of therapy in the fight against cancer, one that employs our body's natural ability to fight tumors. Again, this is Anna Maria Chen reporting on CellSci. Ticker CVM on the New York Stock Exchange is definitely a buy.